Activity 1. Listen to a talk and decide whether the following statements are true or false. Mark the letter A, B, C or D on your answer sheet to show your answers. Nikos was an ordinary man. Nothing particularly good ever happened to him. He had no time for superstition, no time at all. Nikos thought himself to be a very rational man, a man who did not believe that his good luck or bad luck was in any way changed by black cats, walking under ladders, spilling salt or opening umbrellas inside the house. Nikos spent much of his time in the small taverna near where he lived. In the taverna he sat drinking coffee and talking to his friends. Sometimes his friends played dice or cards. Sometimes they played for money. Some of them made bets on horse races or football matches. One morning, Nikos woke up and walked into the bathroom. He started to shave, as he did every morning. But as he was shaving, he noticed that the mirror on the bathroom wall wasn't quite straight. He tried to move it to one side to make it straighter, but as soon as he touched it, the mirror fell off the wall and hit the floor with a huge crash. It broke into a thousand pieces. Nikos knew that some people thought this was unlucky, but Nikos wasn't superstitious. He didn't care. He thought superstition was nonsense. He picked up the pieces of the mirror, put them in the bin, and finished shaving without a mirror. Now listen again. Nikos was an ordinary man. Nothing particularly good ever happened to him. He had no time for superstition, no time at all. Nikos thought himself to be a very rational man, a man who did not believe that his good luck or bad luck was in any way changed by black cats, walking under ladders, spilling salt or opening umbrellas inside the house. Nikos spent much of his time in the small taverna near where he lived. In the taverna he sat drinking coffee and talking to his friends. Sometimes his friends played dice or cards. Sometimes they played for money. Some of them made bets on horse races or football matches. One morning, Nikos woke up and walked into the bathroom. He started to shave, as he did every morning. But as he was shaving, he noticed that the mirror on the bathroom wall wasn't quite straight. He tried to move it to one side to make it straighter, but as soon as he touched it, the mirror fell off the wall and hit the floor with a huge crash. It broke into a thousand pieces. Nikos knew that some people thought this was unlucky, but Nikos wasn't superstitious. He didn't care. He thought superstition was nonsense. He picked up the pieces of the mirror, put them in the bin, and finished shaving without a mirror. Activity 2. Listen and mark the letter A. B or C on your answer sheet to show the correct answer the question. Well, Piers, our first semester at university is almost over. I can't wait for the holiday. Me too. Why don't we go somewhere? F now, how long will we have before we have to be back here on campus for the next semester? We've got about six weeks, I think. How about if we go to the coast? It would be great to do some swimming and surfing. The coast would be good, but let's look at our other options. There are some mountains, they're nice and cool at this time of year, and we can do some bushwalking. There's also the desert, which I really enjoyed last year. What about going to Sydney? I've never been there. I agree Sydney would be good, but there are too many tourists at this time of year. I vote for the mountains. Well, for places to stay, there are the usual places. Motels, hotels, youth hostels. So what should we do? Well, since neither of us has a lot of money, I don't think a hotel or motel would be possible. How about a youth hostel? I'd rather not go to a youth hostel, Piers. They are certainly cheap, but you never get to be alone in those places. There's always a stranger in the next bed. And I hate sharing a kitchen with people I don't know. No, I think we should find a small holiday house to rent. Now listen again. Well, Piers, our first semester at university is almost over. I can't wait for the holiday. Me too. Why don't we go somewhere? F now, how long will we have before we have to be back here on campus for the next semester? We've got about six weeks, I think. How about if we go to the coast? It would be great to do some swimming and surfing. The coast would be good, but let's look at our other options. 
There are some mountains. They're nice and cool at this time of year, and we can do some bushwalking. There's also the desert, which I really enjoyed last year. What about going to Sydney? I've never been there. I agree, Sydney would be good, but there are too many tourists at this time of year. I vote for the mountains. Well, for places to stay, there are the usual places: motels, hotels, youth hostels. So, what should we do? Well, since neither of us has a lot of money, I don't think a hotel or motel would be possible. How about a youth hostel? I'd rather not go to a youth hostel, Piers. They are certainly cheap, but you never get to be alone in those places. There's always a stranger in the next bed, and I hate sharing a kitchen with people I don't know. No, I think we should find a small holiday house to rent.